One of history's greatest civilizations prevailed for over 3,000 years along the Nile River in Northeast Africa. Some of the world's most incredible discoveries have been made in ancient Egypt. These discoveries demonstrate not only how advanced Egypt was at the time, but also how influential it was in the development of modern technology. In this video, we'll go over some of the most amazing discoveries ever made in Egypt. Hello and welcome back to the channel. To get interesting news like this, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Starting off the list, on number 10, we have Khufu Ship. The Khufu Ship is a full-size solar sailing vessel from ancient Egypt that has not been tampered with. Around 2500 BC, during the fourth dynasty of the ancient Egyptian Old Kingdom, it was sealed into a pit at the foot of Pharaoh Khufu's Great Pyramid. It was apparently part of the extensive grave goods intended for use in the afterlife, like other buried ancient Egyptian ships. It's 43.4 meters long and 5.9 meters wide, and it has been identified as the world's oldest intact ship. It has been described as a masterpiece of woodcraft that could still sail today if placed in a lake or river. The ship was kept in the Giza Solar Boat Museum until August 2021, when it was moved to the Grand Egyptian Museum. The next one on our list is number 9, Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza is Egypt's largest pyramid in the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu of the 4th Dynasty. It is the oldest of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World, having been constructed over a period of around 27 years in the 26th century BC. It is also the only one that has remained largely intact. It borders present-day Giza in Greater Cairo, Egypt as part of the Giza Pyramid Complex. For more than 3,800 years, the Great Pyramid was the world's tallest man-made structure, standing at 147 meters. Moving on to number 8, we have Tutankhamun's Tomb. Tutankhamun's Tomb, also known by its tomb number, KV-62, is located in the Valley of the Kings and is the burial place of Tutankhamun, a pharaoh of ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty. The tomb is smaller and less elaborately decorated than other Egyptian royal tombs of the time. Tutankhamun, like other pharaohs, was buried with a wide variety of funerary objects and personal belongings, such as coffins, furniture, clothing, and jewelry, though these items had to be packed tightly due to the unusually limited space. Excavators led by Howard Carter discovered Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. The tomb attracted a media frenzy as a result of the quantity and spectacular appearance of the burial goods, and it became Egyptology's most famous find. Number 7. Unfinished Obelisk The unfinished obelisk is the world's largest known ancient obelisk, and it can be found in Aswan, Egypt, in the northern region of ancient Egypt's stone quarries. Reginald Engelbach investigated it in depth in 1922. The unfinished obelisk is nearly a third of the size of any other ancient Egyptian obelisk ever built. It would have measured around 42 meters and weighed nearly 1,090 tons, roughly the weight of 200 African elephants if completed. The obelisk's creators attempted to carve it directly out of bedrock, but cracks in the granite forced them to abandon the project. The unfinished obelisk provides unique insights into ancient Egyptian stone working techniques. The tool marks and ochre-colored lines are still visible and indicates where workers worked at that time. Moving on to number 6, Deir el Medina. During the 18th to 20th dynasties of the New Kingdom of Egypt, Deir el Medina was an ancient Egyptian workman's village that was home to the artisans who worked on the tombs in the Valley of the Kings. The site is located on the west bank of the Nile, across the river from modern-day Luxor. The village is set in a small natural amphitheater with the Valley of the Kings to the north, funerary temples to the east, and the Valley of the Queens to the west, all within easy walking distance. The village may have been built away from the rest of the population in order to maintain secrecy due to the sensitive nature of the tomb work. Moving on to number 5, we have Tomb of Seti I. Tomb KV-17, also known as Belzoni's Tomb, and the Tomb of Apis, is located in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. It is one of the valley's best decorated tombs. 
Giovanni Battista Belzoni discovered it in the modern era on October 16, 1817. The opening of the mouth ceremony is depicted in one of the back chambers, indicating that the mummy's eating and drinking organs were in good working order. It has been closed to the public for many years due to damage and threats to its preservation posed by visitors. In 2016, it reopened to the public. This tomb is open to visitors with a 1,200 EGP entry ticket or a Luxor Pass. On number 4, we shall discuss Akmim's Lost Temple. Construction workers in the village of Kamshakau in the Tama Township in northern Sohog stumbled upon the ancient tomb structure while drilling on a sewage drain. The length of the Lost Temple of Akim is estimated to be 4-5 to five soccer fields. So far, the team has discovered a north-south wall, an east-west wall, and the southwestern corner of the limestone structure, which is carved with carvings of Hapi, the Egyptian god of the annual Nile floods. Experts are working to save the temple's ruins, which are located on the Nile's western bank. We shall now reveal the top three on the list. So, without wasting any further time, on number three we have the Greater Temple of Abu Simbel. Abu Simbel is a historic site in the village of Abu Simbel, Upper Egypt, near the Sudanese border, consisting of two massive rock-cut temples. The entire complex is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The twin temples were carved out of the mountainside in the 13th century BC during the reign of Pharaoh Ramses II of the 19th dynasty. They serve as a permanent memorial to King Ramses II. On number 2 we have Secret Mummy Cave The Royal Cache, also known as TT320, is an ancient Egyptian tomb located next to Deir el-Bari in the Theban necropolis, directly across the Nile from Luxor. It was used as a cache for royal mummies during the 21st dynasty, and it now houses an extraordinary collection of mummified remains and funeral equipment of more than 50 kings, queens, and other royal family members of the new kingdom. Following the high-profile Pharaoh's Golden Parade in 2021, the mummies were moved to a modern display area in the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. The number one on our list today is Valley of the Golden Mummies. The Valley of the Golden Mummies is a massive Greco-Roman burial site in Egypt's western desert located at Baharia Oasis. Zahi Hawass and his Egyptian team discovered approximately 250 mummies that were approximately 2,000 years old over the course of several seasons in 1996. When Hawass and his team discovered the mummies, many of them were still in good condition. They were embellished in a variety of styles. So, what do you think about these amazing finds? Which of these do you find the most impressive? Don't forget to let us know in the comment section what are your views. With that being stated, that wraps our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. See you soon in our next video.